survivor, I'm gonna make okay. it. Oh, hey peeps! Welcome to another exciting episode of The Fred Flair Show. Now, you guys know how much I love to chat about teams. And in honor of the granddad of all reality shows, the one that started it all, Survivor and their premiere of the 17th season, Fans vs. Faves, I have two very special guests joining me today. Not one, but two Survivor winners. Put your hands together because I would like to introduce you to Ethan Zahn, the million dollar winner of Survivor Africa and his gorgeous girlfriend, Jenna Maraska, winner of Survivor Amazon. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I am like more excited than Kelly Ripa is when no. Madonna comes on her show. <laughs> now, being Survivor sweethearts, what is that like? Do you guys have like crazy Jeff Prost challenges in your relationship? Like everything contests to yes, see who comes in. Yes. You're yeah. oddly drawn to like open yes. thatch roof dream houses. Anything doesn't matter. Well, I want to know how you what you guys felt when you found out that you were. You know, I know what it's like to be sequestered there. Oh, it's a but lot. when you find out that you're packed, what's going through your head? Did she die? No. Um, they told me when I was still at the sequestered thing. I don't think they told okay. me until what, a couple weeks later. You know, they put me in a room and they were like, everybody was there was telling me and they were like, who would you pull out in this room? And I'm like, oh, there's no one to go. I'm like, oh, it's that guy, because he doesn't look trustworthy. I found this less movie best. <laughs> The president of CBS. Whoops. <laughs> but they probably love that you said that. They actually started laughing. laughing and oh, and she's was, gutsy. They were howling, and I was like, what's so funny? And they're like, get out. And I was like, what's so funny? And they told me later. But on mine, they didn't tell us. You know, they were. Because you were second choice. Yeah, yeah. So you, you made it home. I made it you home. Got a phone I had no idea. But when they told me, I was at my brother's wedding in South Dakota. And I was so excited, but you know, you can't tell anyone. So here I am, surrounded by like, my immediate family, my mom. You could tell like your mom and your yeah, boss or something, right? Like what was it like like the first day or so that you get there? I know you've probably been asked On this question. On the show or when we just get to the, to the island and we're pretty Well, yeah, behind the, the scenes. Like, what is that first day like? Well, uh, you're, are you all kind of like sussing each other out? Oh, 100%. yeah. I can speak for just Africa. We got there six days, five days before the, the show started. We're all in separate quarters. We oh, so you see people for you five days. People. And no talking. Talk. No talking. So and you're basically just sitting around just like eyeing yeah. people down, like trying Who's to get, my competition? Yeah. Yeah. Just watching what people see were eating. Exactly. And what How they fold their clothes into the fresh the teeth. Oh, oh that's so fascinating. As far as a game of relationships, you know, in the end, it's like how you treat one another will determine how far you go. Oh, that's game. lovely. That's I a lovely think. message. It yeah. is. How much time goes between the final two, and then that live show where you announce the winner. How much time we is that? We got back in December on my season, which is the same as like all the All Stars, and the finale in May. Wow. Yeah. Six months. So about from, six months. Yeah, from December. Where you're you're sitting on it like I was the last yeah, two, yeah. and yeah. am I going to win? Oh my God! That had to be like super intense oh, in its own way. My family wants to kill me every day. One day I won, next day I lost, next day I won, crying, lost. <laughs> it's ridiculous because you watch the show ending and you're like, maybe they did it. And is the FBI follow the the Mark Burnett FBI following yeah, you to keep oh, your, yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, they're lurking in the shadows to, to make sure your mouth is shut. You're not 100%. supposed to talk to your other contestants, but like you do. So like you're talking, I'm talking like Rob would call late night and like, you want to run or click. And the next thing you call, Matthew wants to run or click. It was so mad money. It was funny oh, now. It was so mean. So. When your name is announced, what is that? What does that feel like to be the winner of like the biggest reality show in the world? It's pretty good. I mean, that's got to be crazy. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, to go from anonymity <laughs> to the cover of like magazines <laughs> in a day, it's oh, something yeah. that you can't prepare yourself for, and it's just a totally surreal experience. Did you guys gain all the weight back that you lost? Well, um, well, that's that just pumped and popped into my mind. I yeah, always think that. like. People always look so totally hot metabolism. by the end of Survivor, and then you see them in that Bad. reunion, and it's like, whoa, it's like 16 chubettes, like yeah. I don't even recognize it's, anybody. Because it's just, for me, it takes like a year at least to get my 
metabolism back even close to where it was before because your body just goes into she starvation. Was 98 pounds. That's crazy. Yeah, it's hot. I lost 30 <laughs> pounds. Yeah. That's hot. 32 pounds in 39 days. Wow. Which That's crazy. Weight. So what did you guys do with your money? What was, your, what was the first thing that you bought? Who's you looking at it? No. <laughs> you bought New York. Who's. No, you started. No, I started a, a charity called okay. Grassroots Soccer. And if you remember during Survivor Africa, there's a challenge where I got to go to the little village. Yeah. I got to play happy sack while well, playing and children. Totally sweet. All those kids were HIV positive. They took them out at the time. So when I came back, I used the money that I wanted to start a charity. We do AIDS education for soccer all over. Now we're in nine different African countries. We've got to do over 250,000 kids. And, uh, it's got to be so awesome to just help one kid and see their face and you're like, oh, it's amazing. I, I love it. Yeah. And then, uh, last plug is this starting in August, I'm driven my soccer ball from Boston to Washington, D.C. to raise money and raise for my channel. Wow. So, I urge everyone to get involved. Grassroots soccer. Level. And then, Jenna, you had the. I mean, we're totally G-rated here oh, on Fred Flair, to take off my top. but I have to ask about the whole Playboy thing, you know, sure. the like I'm peanut like butter good. and Oreos. Chocolate and peanut butter, yeah. Chocolate and peanut butter. We're not, we weren't allowed to say Oreos on Survivor, so they were like hot dogs, cookies. Oh, okay. That's why they weren't the Oreos. So how exciting was that to be part of? Like one of the biggest American institutions, oh, yeah. Playboy magazine. I was really, I was really excited. You're like a Playboy cover girl. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah, that never goes away. Um, I, we didn't do the peanut butter and chocolate thing expecting that. Like people were like, oh, you play and you play. And I'm like, no, we were really just starving. And you just want the food. It, I figured, what way could we get really what we want without having to share it? Because it was one of those challenges. Like whoever, whoever jumped in. I want that myself. The whole world on the cover of Playboy. <laughs> it, it was like whoever jumped in to the water and they offer the food not to share and I'm like, I didn't share anything. So I just offered to take the clothes off and Jeff seemed very anxious to, to go through on the deal. <laughs> so before we, the finale aired, Playboy had called CBS and offered ID9 to do the cover and I wasn't allowed to talk to him because when you're on the show you're not allowed to negotiate any deal. So I was lucky enough to negotiate with Playboy through CBS, negotiate the fact that they might have a winner on the cover because they wanted to close the deal before the finale, which is fine with me, just in case I didn't win, I still had something to back up. And so it was, uh, it was, it was a big deal, and I just didn't back up. And then I got to put all the parts. And then That's the amazing. Yeah. What's, uh, what's on the list for 2008 for Jenna and Ethan? Well, for Ethan, I'll speak on behalf of myself. You uh, no, I'm, um, I'm the host of a new television show called Earth Tripping. Okay. It's about green travel. So oh. we travel around the world and show people how to have fun without leaving a footprint on the environment. That's amazing. So um, it premieres in the summer, and then uh, then I got my dribble. Uh, and that's about it. My chair. That's great. That's great. I'm actually finishing my psychology degree finally. Really? Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm graduating in a year. And I'm hosting a new series called Pet Planet. It's for Fox News' new online lifestyle magazine. Uh, the website. That's Warsong. Yeah, the, the website's <laughs> fncimag.com. It's going to be okay. pet series every week. I already did one on grooming, training, and socialization. And next week, I think I'm doing one on adoption and veterinary care. So it's all going to be about pets. Well, Ethan and Jenna, I just want to thank you guys again for being on the show today. You're both super awesome and super cute, and I wish you the best of luck in 2008. And thank you guys, too, for tuning in. We have so many more fun things coming your way. But until then, stay cute, survivors. And, I, you know, I thought I was going to be on the show. So I was close. like, who they take a set of you? Let's run to Brandon. the top. Banana bean. Chocolate shake, easy bake cake.